I started back powerlifting. It's been a good journey so far. So I figured today I take you guys through one of the workouts. Let's get right to it. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Hargan and Fitness. My name is Jalan and today I got a full powerlifting workout routine for beginners that I'm gonna give to you guys. Check it out, I've been working out with the powerlifting style for about a year and a half to two years. Took a break for about four to five months just to give up my joints a break, so to speak. And uh, just now got back into it about two weeks ago. And today I'm just gonna walk you guys through my workout. So the very first exercise is gonna be squats. Now, when I started squatting on a consistent basis, I had very horrible ankle flexibility. So doing this right here, just finding something elevated, putting the tip of my foot on it and stretching out uh, my ankles really helped a ton for me to be able to hit full depth when I'm squatting. So I still do it every time before I squat. Also, I'll get down into the squat just so that I can get a feel for where I want my feet to be for that day. Because sometimes I feel more comfortable having them wider, sometimes a little more comfortable with them being closer. So I pay attention to that. And this also really helps to get my hips more warm uh, before I squat because I was having a lot of hip pain when I first started squatting as well. So I still do this just to prevent injury. Also, equipment. When I squat, I'll typically wear some lifters. I'll wear a weight belt. And if I'm doing low bar squat, I'll wear wrist wraps. And I'll also wear some knee sleeves whenever I squat. Sometimes I'll squat naked too. I don't always squat with equipment. Sometimes it's good just to really give your core a good workout and your lower back a good workout when I'm squatting as well. Here we doing some warm up sets. We started at 135, 185, then we go to 225, then we go to 275, which I didn't record, I don't know why. And then we go to 315 and that was my working sets for today. Um, I did four sets, no I did three sets and I did four reps every single set. Now, last year when I first started powerlifting and I did this exact same rep scheme, I was around 290, 295-ish. Uh, that was for threes. For fours, I was actually doing about 270, 275. And uh, now, a year later, I'm hitting 315 for four repetitions. And I actually feel like I can do a little bit more. So last week or two weeks ago when we started this workout program, uh, I was doing 300 and we've been going up in increments of five pounds for every single exercise that we do. Not every single, but all of the big three, you know, deadlifts, squats, and bench press. We go up at least five pounds every week. So now I'm at 315 and as you can see, I'm moving it not super easy, but it's not, you know, it's doable, so to speak. I typically take a rest for about two to four minutes in between every set, just depending on how the previous set felt. You see how I was walking out, I was a little tired there. Uh, look at my wrist. If you can see that there's a lot of pressure being placed on my wrist, that's why I wear the wrist wraps. If I don't wear those, my, my wrist hurt kind of bad. Also look at the bar, doing low bar squat versus high bar squat. There's a big difference in what muscles are worked and some of the mechanics during the squat are a little bit different as well. So if you got a question about that or you don't know about that, comment down below, ask the question, and I will definitely get you an answer, all right? Um, one thing that I do want to say as I'm finishing up this last set of squats is that it took me a really long time to get comfortable doing squats. Now we were doing, last year when we were squatting on a consistent basis, we were doing I think four days out of the week we were squatting and we would switch our reps up every single day. So one day it might be six sets and then five, four, and then three. And every week uh, the focus was on progressive overload, trying to add more weight to the bar every single week. And uh, as we did it more often, my form got better and my entire body transformed. Like my core got stronger, back got stronger hams, glutes, quads, e even my calves got stronger. Like and you can see in the video, I actually have calves. Like before I started squatting, my legs was just straight up and down, <laughs> for real. 
So if you don't squat on a consistent basis, I really encourage it. If it's something, if it's something that you stray away from because it's difficult for you, I encourage you get in the gym, do your squats. It's really gonna help uh, you get stronger on all of your other movements as well. So we also did bench press. That was a uh, three by five, so three sets, five reps. This is 245 pounds. Now let's talk about a few things that I've really, really noticed that helped me with my bench press over the last couple of years. One is working on my weak area. So my back and my glutes were a really weak area for me. This is Derek going 295 by the way. Uh, but my back and my glutes were really a really big weak area for me. And working on those really, really, really helped me to be able to drive through heavier weight during my bench press. Like I know you would think it really wouldn't help you a ton, but I promise you it does. Another thing is really focusing on squeezing everything when I do my bench press. So instead of just focusing on, you know, having squeezing the scapula so that you got a good foundation, I focus on squeezing my quads, on squeezing my glutes, on focusing on um, engaging my lats during the movement so that I'm really stable and I can push as much weight as possible. That really helped me to be able to get a little bit stronger. Now look at my feet. I also changed this as well. Notice how I place my feet up against the bench. That gives me extra leverage when I'm benching. And I started doing that about a month or two ago and it was by accident. And it helped me to push probably about five to 10 pounds more weight uh, just by doing that one thing. So I press my feet up against it and I use it as leverage to help me squeeze my glutes and my quads and my hams during the movement. And it helps me to stay more stable and to be able to push through the repetition. So that's helped a ton. If Now not all benches have those two uh, frames that stick out from the bottom of the bench. So if yours doesn't, then you may not be able to use it. Now that's just something that I've used to help me to get better at the bench. As you can see, Derek doesn't do it, but he's still pushing a lot of weight. So to each his own. But if you just wanna put a couple extra pounds onto the bar, Try that, I promise you, it'll help. All right, and then we also did a uh, strict press. Well, there did strict press. I did behind the neck strict press to the kind of focus more so on the rear delts and my back, which as I said, is a really big, weak area for me. So I'm trying to do exercises to help more with that. Uh, but I've been doing my research and I know that Doing those behind the neck can cause some shoulder impingement and I don't really feel pain when I'm doing it, but I want to make sure I stay injury free for as long as possible, especially when you're powerlifting because you're moving a lot more weight. So with that added stress on your joints, it really increases the probability that you can get injured while you're powerlifting. So I want to make sure I take as many precautions as possible to prevent injury. This way I can stay in the gym for a long period of time and of course make some more gains. So I encourage you to, if shoulders is a weak area for you, make sure you include strict press into your workout routine. That's because this exercise allows you to add a lot more weight onto the bar versus doing like a dumbbell press or, or an Arnold press. Uh, so of course more weight means that you can uh, add more muscle mass onto any particular muscle group. So doing strict press is really great uh, for getting bigger shoulders, getting stronger shoulders. So like I said, if this is a weak point for you, just like it is for me, oh boy, struggling. <laughs> but uh, make sure you throw that in there. I'm still contemplating on whether or not I want to remove uh, doing this exercise behind the neck. I'm probably gonna do it because like I said, I don't wanna get injured, but we will see, only time can tell I'm just gonna go based off of what my body tells me feels good and what doesn't. All right, so to finish off the day, we just did close stance leg press and we supersetted that with single leg extensions. I did four sets of each and I did 12 to 15 repetitions each and every time. So that was pretty much the end of the workout. But before this video closes out, we did recently hit 100 subs on the channel. I know that's not a lot. Got a lot more goals than that, but still appreciate it. Everybody who watched, subscribed, liked, commented, you know, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Please continue to support the channel. Um, if 
please if you have any recommendations or suggestions or um, something that you just want to see from the channel as far as a workout video or a tip video or if you need any nutrition advice whatever the case may be comment down below and let me know exactly what you want to see that way i can put out the content that pleases you guys and not what i'm guessing or what i want for myself so thanks for watching i'm jalan as always this is hard gainer fitness helping you defeat yourself and crush the scale i'll see y'all next time man